cultural differences between the two organizations now that you're going into another year with LeBron? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a real big difference. You know, uh, Dallas was Dallas was Dallas. Uh, <laughs> I think y'all know what I mean when I say that, man. And uh, Denver, Denver's on that scale, but not quite as big a scale as Dallas, you know. Um, and I'm not saying it in a bad way. You know, I, I love Dallas. You know, it, it really helped me become a player I am, helped me become a man I am. And, um, you know, it was just one of the things, it was just a business decision I had to move on, but I got a lot of love for, um, for the city, for the team. You know, that's why I came back, you know, just to see some of the faces. But, um, but as far as the coaching, man, you know, you know, everybody has their personalities in the locker room and how certain teams do things, but um, I think at the end of the day, it's all about winning. Yeah. Ron, uh, Bobby Ball with uh, Spanish Radio. Uh, you know, you, as was just kind of referenced there, you uh, departed there was some attention during your time when you were here, and I know that there have been other similar instances of this recently with Kate Perry McFadden and Jeff Bryant. So what are you, your thoughts, I guess, just on how that's played out for your former teammates and uh, specifically Des Bryant, if you thought things went fairly for him? Yeah, I mean, their situation is just a sticky situation. And I wasn't here when his last year was here, so I don't know what all went down. Uh, I know he wasn't happy about it. I know some people weren't happy about it, but I think they just made that decision of, I'm shocked that he hasn't got picked up yet. You know, I know, um, you know, he has, you know, whatever that comes with him, but I think Dez has a lot of ball left on him to play. Uh, so hopefully he sticks to a roster, you know, coming up in the next couple weeks with camp. But, uh, as far as me, man, I mean, yeah, I think we all know it's a little tension. Nobody really knows the true story except for me and the people in the locker room. And I'm not going to tell you all today about it, <laughs> but uh, you know it all worked out. So, you know, I'll leave it at that. Ron, how, how do those Tyron, Travis, and Zach, how do those guys bring the other new guys along? Even Lamb's been around a couple of years, but, you know, Connor Williams sitting in now. Do they, how do they bring guys along? Do, do they help them out or do they say, hey, just follow us? How, how does that work? I think uh, it's something I know for a fact in that room. We had real, we had real high standards, so it's kind of like we didn't really like say, "Hey, this is what you need to do." A, B, and C. I think they kind of just saw, like when we brought new guys in that room, they kind of saw how we worked and how we went about business, and they kind of just fell in line. And I think that's what made it such a great room. And guys that didn't fall in line, they just didn't stick around because the standards were real high, and we weren't dropping for anybody. Did you try to bring that to Denver? I did, and uh, you know I'm still working on it. You know that. The group we had in Dallas wasn't built overnight or in one year, so I know it's not going to be the same way. You know, it's going to be a process. You know, um, so that's what we're kind of trying to build right now. And kind of use that mode that we had here in Denver and uh, have that kind of success. Thanks, guys. We got a couple more players back up there. Thanks, Ron. Thank you. Take one more question. Yeah. Ron, I, I know you don't directly usually line up against them, but is is Vaughn Miller the best pass rusher you ever seen up close? Hands down. Hands down, man. Behind it, he free good. I mean, you just watch film. I can't remember the last time somebody blocked him in practice, to be honest. And in the games, you know, he's getting double and triple team. So, uh, but yeah, he, he's free. He's free good. D -Log, D -Log, y'all got a good one here, too, now. D -Log, D -Log snapped last year. <laughs> he, he, he sold some Brian Miller tight rushes last year, so he had a really good year. Yep. Right, appreciate it.